got something in the mail today that I kind of want to share with you guys. Pretty exciting little item that I had to order all the way from Osaka, Japan. What's up, man? What's up? I said it delivered, so I don't know if it's... Nothing there? What? Nothing there? No. That's weird. Sorry about that. Okay, no worries. What? I'm gonna wait in my car. Maybe the UPS guy hasn't come yet. I'm not going anywhere. Check out this avocado. I'm in here waiting in my car because I know it's delivered. It's probably at the Nelsonville post office. Then it needs to be shipped from there to Hawking. Hey Jeff, I have a quick question for you. Uh, no, it came from, uh, I believe, Osaka, Japan. It was, it was... Okay, and that was at what time? What? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I'm gonna go back in there. I called the Nelsonville post office and they said that package is here. Is that it? Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't know. No I worries. I apologize. No worries, dude. Thanks. Yeah, Appreciate no it. Problem. Moral of the story is never give up. Sometimes you have to never give up when you're off the water as well. Time to unbox this. You know, one of the biggest struggles of doing like an unboxing or a kind of a non fishing review is finding a good, quiet place to do it. And I think this might be my new kind of spot. There's like this big military truck that Hawking College uses and it never, well, I guess it's just, it never uses. And it kind of just sits here and collects rust and dust. And it's a cool truck, but it uh, kind of blocks the wind. And I kind of like this spot. So this is where today's unboxing will be. Oh. All right, a little background knowledge before I get to what's inside this box. Back when I was like, 13 or 14 I was a huge JDM fan I loved looking at all the new products that came out of Japan that were bass fishing related I loved seeing like all the new Shimano Daiwa mega bass equipment that like us US guys couldn't get our hands on and the one reel that I really envied was their DC series Shimano's DC series and basically what that stands for is their di digital chip series and it like fascinated me that Shimano was putting computerized chips in reels to decrease backlashes and increase casting accuracy. I've always wanted one of those reels. As a kid, I never had enough money for them. I mean, they're extremely expensive. They're just the sound of it, like a digital computer reel just sounds ridiculously expensive. Like it's been years and years that I've kind of been envying this and on and off and kind of pondering the idea of getting it. I just decided one day I'm going to get it. Like forget just thinking about it. Forget just like pondering on the, pondering the idea. I'm just going to go ahead and get it. Forget talking. I'm just going to open this up. How are we going to do this here? Well, there we go. That was pretty dope. <laughs> you know it's legit when it comes wrapped in Japanese newspaper. I hope this is legit. I got this on eBay. Oh my god. Oh my god. This feels real. I'm like, I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. This right here is the 2008 Metanium MG DC7. Like, look at this. It comes like it's in its own little separate, like, ah, that's so sick. Oh my god, this is really new. Brand new. Oh my god. <gasps> Look at this. Did you hear that? That's the digital chip in there. I don't know what to say. This is incredible. Listen to this. That free spool is ridiculous too. For some of you guys who don't know, back when Shimano was like like super sick, they are cool now, but back when they were pumping out like the best reels in the market, they were working overseas and over in the US to create some of the best casting spinning reels on the market. And there was this kind of like really good gap where Shimano knew what they were doing. They were like putting out some of the longest lasting, most durable, lightweight reels on the market. Like there was no one that could even touch Shimano. Okay, enough talking. Let's do a little montage and show you what this reel really looks like up close. I swear to God, I can never find a quiet spot to film. It's insane. God, dude. Like, once I find a good spot, it just gets ruined. Within like, all right, well, I'm not done with this review. There's gonna be a little bit more. All right, I think I found a uh, quiet spot. 
So after kind of casting with this for a little bit in the woods and on campus, um, A, I probably look like a complete goon, but B, I've kind of also gotten a better understanding of what this reel is all about. It's a very awesome reel. You know, granted, I, I can't give my overall opinion since I'm not on the water fishing and fishing with different types of applications, but what I can say is it casts very, very well. It's also going to take some time to kind of get used to. You know, this is the first time I've ever used a digital chip reel, so I have no idea how <laughs> these digital chip uh, braking system works. I've used variable braking systems, centrifugal brakes, magnetic brakes, and a few others, but this one's all new for me. This is like me starting fresh with a, with a completely different layout of a casting reel. Just for uh, comparison's sakes, this is what the new Metanium design looks like, and this is the old. So this is like 2013, this is like 20, or 2008 through like 2013. Um, pretty, pretty <laughs> different looking reels. This one does not have a digital chip in it, um, although the digital chip doesn't make this look any different. I believe this is the same exact model as like the, uh, the Metanium MGs that they made earlier, or the Chronarchs, excuse me. I think this one looks 10 times cooler though just because of the paint on here. It's like a pearl white and it looks really good with that black handle, black uh, star drag, spool tension, and that black and gold spool. Uh, it just is so sick. I mean, it, not only does it work nicely, but it looks so sick. But it's going to take some time for me to play around with. So before I give my overall opinion of it, um, I, can't, I can't say much other than right now it's a sick reel, but I'm going to have to play around with it. But two uh, metaniums. Hopefully, I'll figure out which one's the best. So the reason why I make videos like this is not to like show off my toys and brag, but to kind of show you some of the equipment that you may not normally see out in the U.S. market. Reels like this seem to kind of go under the radar, especially over in the U.S. Us guys in the U.S. tend to focus on brands like Luz, Quantum, um, you know, some other American-made companies like that. But these reels are fantastic. They're awesome, and in my opinion, are some of the best. Japan makes honestly some of the best bass fishing equipment in uh, in the world. It's true. You know, most of the stuff that we get in the U.S. was either designed in Japan or brought over here. Daiwa, Mega Bass, uh, Shimano, and a few others just off the top of my head. So I kind of like showing you my progress and how I build up my arsenal and kind of change it up. You know, I went from like Daiwa to Shimano to 13 fishing back to Shimano and I kind of want to show you guys the steps that I'm taking in order to kind of amp up my game when it comes to equipment and as a kid I've always wanted a JDM rod and reel uh, lineup and that's kind of what I'm working for right now. So if you have any questions about the Metanium, whether it be the new one or the old one, feel free to shoot me a comment in the comment section below. I can give you a pretty good opinion on this one. This one not so much only because I haven't used it enough to kind of get a well-rounded idea as to what this has to offer in my arsenal. But I can answer some questions regarding like drag, weight wise, all those statistics and uh, specs go. If you have any other questions that are non-related to both these reels, always feel free to shoot me an email or drop me a comment in the comment section below. As always, good fishing and I'll catch you guys next time on the next episode of Fishing the Midwest. I think that only took like five tries, but pretty dope.